Welcome to another video on Keyclock Identity and Access Management System. In this video, we are talking about how to use refresh tokens in Keyclock. Let's get started. Now I am in Keyclock Admin Console. Here, first I am going to create a new client. I go to the client section and here I click Create Client. Client type is open and connect. I give the client name as refresh token client. Right. I click next. And here I disable the standard flow and keep the direct access grant flow enabled. I save the client. Ok now the client is created and in order to test this setup we need to create a new user as well. I go to the users section and I create a new user. I give the username as test user. And click create and in the credentials section I set the password as test password right I disable temporary switch and I save the user right now all the configurations in Keyclock admin console is complete in order to test our setup let's visit postman Now I am in Postman application. Here you can see I have provided all the necessary parameters. Here I have provided the token URL and the method type method, HTTP method is POST. Grant type is set to password. Client ID is set to refresh token client. This is the same name we provided for the client we created in Keylog admin console. And I have used the same user I created before. Username is test user and the password is test password. I click send button and in this response you can see the access token is available. In addition to that, the refresh token is also available. Now I am going to show you how to use this refresh token and generate another access token. I copy this value, refresh token value, copy it. I switch to the next tab in Postman. Its name is refresh token usage. Here also we are using the same URL and the method is post. And here you can see the record parameters. Uh, we need to mention the client ID, grant type, in this case grant type is refresh token and we need to provide the refresh token as well. Here I paste the copied refresh token from the previous request. Ok, now I am going to click send and it, it gives us a response. There is an access token and again there is a refresh token as well. So now you have an idea to generate an access token using an existing refresh token. Now I mean the refresh token client configuration section. There can be certain cases you need to stop gen generating an access token. In that case you can go to the advanced section and uh, you need to scroll down. From here you can turn off refresh token generation. Once you disable it from here, a refresh token will not be generated from this client application. That is a one setting. In addition to that, if you want to restrict the number of times a refresh token can be used, you can change that value from realm settings. In order to set the 
refresh token reuse limit you need to go to the realm settings section and you need to visit the tokens tab and here you need to enable this revoke refresh token switch here you can change the refresh token max reuse value as necessary uh, with this we come to the end of this video now i believe you have an idea about using a refresh token and how to stop generating a refresh token or limit the number of reuse if you have any problem please put them in the comment section thank you very much